说起拍卖市场上最稳健、投报率最高的板块，西方战后抽象艺术一定是其中的佼佼者。这些约在1945年至1970年间创作的艺术品，既包括了金字塔顶端的亿万级佳作，也蕴藏着正在被市场重新发掘的大师精品。相较于让人望尘莫及的蓝筹艺术品和捉摸不定的新生代艺术家市场，那些曾被低估的战后大师作品，历经层层时间考验，正浮出水面，以高性价比和高保值率等优势，成为藏家们的明智之选。本期视频带你走进全球首家艺术品在线拍卖公司 Arnett 纽约总部，聚焦二战后美国抽象艺术运动中的代表性人物，预览值得竞拍的投资级佳作。To help us explore this upcoming auction, I have invited two experts, Jason Runick and Dakota Sika, to join us. Jason. You are a specialist in the post-war and contemporary art market. How do you see the role Arnett is playing in today's art world? Arnett plays a very interesting role in the world, in especially since the、uh, COVID and the pandemic. We're really able to have a broad reach for our auctions. Buying artwork online has become more normalized over the past decade or so. And now、um, all the major auction houses have nearly all their sales online, so it's really become the way that people are are buying things. I feel like our role is to kind of be transparent with the, the artworks, clear on the on the vetting, on the condition. These are all things that build confidence in the in a buyer's mind. Dakota, you are the curator of this marvelous auction. What do you make of a room full of art like this? Well, for me, it's a real joy, and I think joy is kind of the key word、mm -hmm. with color field painting. A lot of the examples around us, they're you know comprised of very vibrant colors and elevate any space. And so, when you put these pictures together and they can have conversations with each other, there's a lot of harmony and a lot of happiness. So, where should we start? We'll start here with two wonderful examples by Kiko Saito. One, an earlier example from the start of his career. And the second, a late example,、uh, some of the last few paintings he made before he passed away. Kiko Saito is a Japanese-born American abstract painter with ties to the color field movement and lyrical abstraction. His work can be found in the permanent collection of the MoMA, the Whitney, Estee Lauder collection, and the J.P. Morgan Chase Bank. So this auction offers two beautiful large-scale works on canvas by Saito. This is a wonderful early example by Kiko Saito. This painting was made in the early 70s when Saito was Helen Frankenthaler's studio assistant. So you can really clearly see the influence of Frankenthaler in this painting, mainly in the soak stain technique, where Saito is pouring acrylic paint directly onto unprimed canvas, and then he comes back into the thicker areas with the end of the paintbrush. To make these, you know, gestural marks in the surface, we're very excited to have this piece in our upcoming sale. We're very happy to offer this late example by Kiko Saito. As you can see, there is a lot of gesture and power in this work. These paintings were one of the last works that he made before he passed away in 2016. Contrary to a lot of people's beliefs that artists make their best work early in their career, in Saito's case, he made the best paintings towards the end of his life. Maybe he knew his end was near, but you can see that these expressive, powerful works had to be painted before he left us. And this painting, Seta, is a wonderful example of that. This is a wonderful example by Vivian Springford. So Vivian was a female Abax color field painter, but really didn't get her recognition during her time because she was a woman. And so now, not only historically but in the market, there's a lot more appreciation for her work. This happens to be a really wonderful example of her, you know, pioneering technique where she was watering down acrylic paint. Pouring it onto unprimed canvas and letting the layers dry in these kind of cosmic, you know, floral-like compositions. We, we have high anticipations for this painting because it is such a fantastic example of her most sought-after period. Definitely, even though there is resurgent interest in Vivian Swinford's work today, she had faded into obscurity by the end of her lifetime. In the last five years, the demand for her work 
continues growing. You may find yourself encountering her works in New York, Paris, Beijing, and Shanghai. She was also spotlighted in a very important exhibition titled Women of Abstract Expressionism at the Denver Museum in 2016. And she's now represented in the permanent collection of the Guggenheim Museum. And I totally agree with you. This is one of her most iconic paintings that you don't want to miss. In a prolific career spanning nearly five decades, the German-born American artist Fredo Zubas was a pioneer of the color film movement alongside Helen Frankenthaler, Morris Lewis, and Kenneth Nolan. For Zubas, his painting referenced the natural world, human emotion, and the experience of the color itself. What's in front of us is one of the most interesting and unique examples of his most famous magna painting. Thank you, Kirin. We're excited to offer this painting from the late part of Zubas's career called Extravaganza. This is from 1989. Zubas, as you mentioned, was associated uh, with the color field movement. And this is more than color fields. This is kind of um, this technique that he has, which is a scrubbing of the paint into the surface. And when I look at these, I see almost like clouds. A reference to the natural world is really interesting. There's not like a definitive edge to anything really, aside from just the general composition, which is almost like collaged from different parts of the artist's career. When you look at the sky, all these other colors you can see as the daylight changes. I find this really fascinating and exciting painting. When Dakota showed it to me, I knew we, we had to present this. Fredo Zubas held over 60 solo exhibitions during his lifetime, and his work is collected by the most distinguished museum around the world, notably the Whitney Museum of American Art, the Metropolitan Museum of Art, and the Yale University Art Museum. So if you are looking for a rare and museum quality piece by a master of abstract expressionism, this is definitely a great choice. 那我们今天的拍品预览就先到这里，不论你是想要竞拍视频中看到的藏品，还是委托二奈线上拍卖平台出售你的藏品，都可以在视频下方找到我们的联系方式。我们将有专业顾问帮助你一步步梳理整个注